there is no curfew there is a difference because uh, uh, the quantum of force uh, you are using so that uh, differentiates between curfew and the restrictions uh, we have taken care of things first and foremost we have uh, ensured that essential supplies are running uh, for health department we have given more than 1000 uh, movement passes for all hospitals for medicos paramedics and for all ambulances movement and then we have uh, kept reserve fuel also uh, secondly for power supply and water supply we have taken care of security of all vital installations and there are some restrictions also but uh, again for movement of civilians also we are giving sufficient number of passes then we we have facilitated uh, movement of students within valley and outside valley also those who wanted to go back to their homes uh, in all the districts of kashmir and outside kashmir also uh, till now we have uh, moved out more than 5 to 6000 students in last 2 to 3 days mm. uh, then we have ensured uh, sufficient availability of supplies uh, of lpg kerosene oil petrol and diesel mm. uh, so uh, these are uh, broad priorities of administration right now so, so uh mostly the viewers of uh, jammu kashmir would want to know when is life going to get back to normal uh, i think it it will be moving uh, to near normal very soon uh, things are improving every when day. i when i say normal i mean normal as in when we don't have any curfew sort of exactly uh, there are restrictions but again as i uh, informed earlier that restrictions are not so strict mm. uh, even the security men on ground uh, have been allowing people without passes also in case of they are going for a medical check up even for marriages for hajj pilgrimage so uh, there is no uh, strict uh, restrictions as such mm. but then uh, we saw uh, b- Sunday midnight a virtual lockdown of Kashmir valley particularly mm-hmm. has the situation a little eased down when i say lockdown all communications were down and they still are what was such a need to actually have a virtual lockdown of the communication networks also mm-hmm. cellular connectivity also mm-hmm. unprecedented we have not seen this before uh, as far as communication network is uh, concerned uh, the authorities will be uh, gradually uh, removing those restrictions also and Uh, as you know we are just few days away from eid and we are also taking measures for um, uh, all the things required uh, for celebration of eid also and this any good news eid is approaching uh, for for your people to rejoice uh, i think everything will be improving uh, by eid and we have an independence day also There's nothing to worry about so you saying that gradually as eid and independence day are approaching there will be gradual restric- uh, relaxation in fact every day we are uh, giving relaxation also and then Uh, the movement of civilians for uh, and officials essential services is all being facilitated you might have observed on roads also hmm.